getting need some looking good. Perfect. All right, uh, Jason, thanks for coming in today. Before we go check out the vehicle um, that you found on the internet and um, expressed an interest in seeing, a uh, couple quick questions. Uh, last time you bought a car, how long ago was it? About four years ago. Boy. Okay, about four years ago. Uh, Jason, when you bought that car, when it came down to uh, determining the price of the vehicle, did you have to go through a negotiation with the car salesman or a car salesman's management team? Most definitely. Every time I've ever bought a car, I've had to Okay, do it. you know, that's, got the, that's the way it's always been done. How much fun was it? I don't like it at all. Okay, why? Who wants to come to a dealership? I mean, I'd rather go to the dentist, honestly. All right, you know, your feelings are shared by about 300 million other Americans, and I don't know how many people in Europe and Asia and South America. Um, the bottom line is things aren't quite the way they used to be, and all the changes that have been made have been made in the consumer's favor, meaning in your favor. And by the way, Jason, these changes weren't made because the car business suddenly became charitable. The changes were made um, for the reason most changes occur, whether it's in government or society or schools or social. Um, they were made because they had to be made. The Internet's changed everything. Now, I'm going to guess if you saw our car on our website that our website wasn't the only website that you went to. No. Okay, I'm going to guess that you, like most people, did about 75% of your shopping process before you ever set foot on the property of any car dealership. Right. Um, I'm glad we had the right car, but I guarantee you this, I think I'm right, you tell me if I'm right, if we had the right car but the wrong price on it, we wouldn't be having this conversation, would we? No, I wouldn't be. Now, what you had to go through four years ago in order to get a discount, you no longer have to go through. And again... We're not doing it because we want to. We're doing it because we have to. We have to take the discounts that we used to make people fight for and hope that they give up sooner rather than later. We have to give those discounts now up front. And the reason being is if we don't, we don't get a phone call, we don't get an email, we don't get a personal visit. As a matter of fact, here's a crazy statement, but it's absolutely true. In most cases, a car dealer doesn't even price the vehicles anymore. You know who prices them? Consumers. Well, consumers in essence, but it's done through software packages. We use a software package on both our new and used vehicles. What that software package does is it literally monitors the market. On the new car side, it monitors every Chevy, Kia, GMC, Buick, Cadillac, Cadillac, and GMC franchise car dealer in a 300-mile radius. It's looking for the prices on the exact same vehicles that we have. And then we price those vehicles according to what the market has priced the vehicles. We're the number one volume store in western Tennessee. We have to price, well, we don't have to, we price our vehicles either at or lower than any other vehicle out there. On the used car side, it's... It's going to be more fun, and you can focus on what's most important, and that's making sure the vehicle's right for you. Why don't we go take a look at the Ultima right now? We all even have to. Let's just buy it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. What are you doing? Um, I'll do it. <laughs> well, remember, the better your presentation, the more laydowns you'll get. Yeah, sure. yeah. Okay? Practice makes perfect. 
perfect practice makes perfect. Okay, if you're practicing dog shit, it, you're going to get good at dog shit. All right?